Hey guys, what is up? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the best cities for tech jobs in 2016 and 2017. So basically at this point, what we feel like is going to be a good a good spot for IT workers going not just into this year, but possibly in the next year too. But things change quickly and things change, uh, you, you know, they can change quickly, but for the most part, I mean, things don't change that much, you know, over a year or two period of time, uh, at least as far as I'm aware. Now, keep in mind also that this entire list can be taken with a grain of salt. This is just one person's opinion, you know, based on some data that I looked up. But, you know, ultimately, whenever you come up with a list like this of top programming languages or top cities or top universities or whatever it may be, people get all up in arms about, you know, their, you know, why the list sucks and why it's not, you know, accurate and all this stuff. So you could look at this list in a lot of different ways. And I will say that I, I looked at it in a way of, okay, if I was looking for a job in the United States, and this is a list for United States cities, by the way, if I said, if I was looking for a job in the United States, what city am I, am I going to be able to find employment in uh, the easiest? So, you know, there's things that you have to consider when you look at something like that. You have to look at, you know, the amount of the population, also the amount of jobs. Now, the amount of jobs is always, uh, you know, a pretty telling indicator of whether or not I can get hired. I mean, if there's, you know, a city with 20,000 jobs available, even if it has several million in population, there's still a pretty good chance I'm going to be able to get a job uh, in that city because obviously not all of the people that work in that city are, are in the IT industry. So, um, there, you know, there's a lot of things that you can look at in this list, and you could probably come up with, um, so, you know, some problems with them. But uh, either, either way, like I said, this is just one person's opinion. All the photos were taken from uh, Wikipedia, which allows a Creative Commons attribute license as well. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Number, um, number ten on the list, and I did do top ten just because I could go on for a long time, but. Uh, I just decided, you know, just with 10, but um, Los Angeles makes the list. Uh, there's over 15 companies that are actually headquartered in the Los Angeles metropolitan area. Uh, the amount of jobs available, like I said, even though there's a ton, there's a crap ton of people living in the Los Angeles area uh, with over 13 million um, there are nearly 30,000 IT jobs available, according to Indeed.com. Uh, the median income is 55,000, so you know that's actually pretty low compared to other metropolitan areas, um, and that's actually very low considering the fact that the average home value is so goddamn high there. It's 562,000. It's a lot, um, and then your average uh, IT income salary is or programmer salary. That's not IT. That's actually programmer salary is 71,000. So I put the growth potential on there as average. I mean, there's not a lot of businesses that are like flooding Los Angeles to to start up shop. You know, it's 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 a, a high cost of doing business, but there's already a, you know there's just so many people. It's a large city, second largest city in the United States. So there's going to be some decent potential there if you're an IT programmer. And then once again, um, you guys are probably like, well, what about you know Utah or something like that? There, there, this list isn't going to include some of the more, I would say, uh, you know, niche cities that are on the up and coming. Um, but you know, I did mention I think a couple of them, but uh, you're not going to you're going to see a few left off the list because there's only ten that I could go with on this video. All right, so my next one is uh, Chi Town, Chicago, Illinois, third largest city in the United States, and also you know the first two on this list are, are you know happen to be some of the largest cities in the United States. So you know, granted, uh, there is going to be a lot of IT jobs just because of the amount of people and the amount of uh, operations that are there. But uh, but Chi Town does make the list. I mean, the median income is very low, so it's it's actually a, video, a city that's, that's plagued with crime. Um, a lot of really crappy areas in and around Chicago, but uh, ultimately the downtown area uh, does have a lot of IT jobs, 10 million people. The home values are much more affordable, and that probably has a lot to do with some of the crappier areas that drag it down. But there's, you know, uh, there is affordability there. Median income of only 38,000, while the average programmer is making 66. So your programmers are making, uh, you know, quite a bit better living in the Chicago metropolitan area than other fields of study obviously you know based on that that median income all right next on this list is houston texas uh houston's also a very large city in the united states and um from a landmass perspective and, and metro area i think metro it's number fit it's, it's number five in the country just recently got surpassed by dallas but it still is the fourth largest city in the united states and the amount of IT jobs available, uh, over 15,000, median income a little bit more, 
uh, a little uh, actually a lot higher than Chicago with 60,000 and the average programmer is making 75. So it, it, Houston's the kind of city where everybody's doing pretty well. Um, there's a lot of a lot of uh, industrial type companies that are headquartered out of Houston and a lot of energy companies, uh, manufacturing, obviously NASA is located out of Houston. And uh, Houston has uh, you know major universities like Rice University, one of the top universities in the country. And the average home price is 143,000. Now, another thing that's good about Texas and why a lot of people flee to Texas is um, there is no state income tax. So you tend to make up for that in the property tax if you own a house, but the, the average house is only 143 in and around the Houston area. So Houston's a very attractive city for IT programmers with 15,000 IT jobs available. You know, those are uh, from a lot of different types of companies. So if you're if you're not just doing, you know, the hot Silicon Valley startup type thing, you're going to be able to find a lot of different IT top type of opportunities in Houston, and that's definitely an attractive city on this list. Now, the next uh, major Texas city is Dallas. It's, con it's called the Silicon Prairie. Um, Dallas, like I said, has just recently surpassed Houston as the fourth largest metropolitan population uh, in, the, in the country. And uh, as far as like land mass or something like that, it's probably like six or seven. I don't I don't know. But uh, a lot of IT jobs available, nearly 24,000 median income to 56,000 and average programmer making 68. Growth potential is hot. Um, a lot of companies are, are actually in and around, you know, Dallas, Houston, uh, Austin. Austin's more of the hip, you know, hippie, you know, culture, you know, San Francisco type startup city. Uh, whereas Dallas is, like I said, is more of a, um, a business city. I mean, it's all about business in Dallas and a lot of different, uh, a lot of billionaires live in, in and around Dallas. In fact, I think uh, Dallas has more billionaires in its metro area than any other city. I heard that the other day and I, I don't have that stat available with me, unfortunately. But you can see the home price is very affordable in Dallas. Oops. Uh, home price very affordable in Dallas at 134,000, population 7 million. Now, these are metro area populations, by the way. It's not just in the city limits. And I, I put the growth potential on here as being hot because uh, Dallas is, is continuing to, to become an, an IT hub because of so many businesses that are that are setting up in and around Dallas and uh, the relative affordability of actually running a business out of the state of Texas is is much higher than than other states on this list and I'd already jumped to the next one on this list but it's gonna be Austin Texas so these three cities are, are right in uh, right in you know in a close proximity to each other within a few hours of each other in Texas and Texas is just uh, is such an attractive place to do business uh, because of the no no property or no state income tax, and, and it's just bit very business friendly when it comes to bureaucratic red tape and stuff like that for trying to get an operation off the ground. So even during the Great Recession, where the United States went into a recession in 2008, where they dragged essentially the entire world into the recession with them, because of the home value, Houston and uh, and Dallas and, and many areas of Texas never really actually went into a recession. In fact. Like half of the jobs that were created in the United States after 2008 until about 2012 were created in Texas because even through one of the worst economic downturns we had ever seen, um, Texas just continued continue to hum along with, with jobs and, and just you know being a, a top area. Now, one of the reasons why this is ranked ahead of both Houston and Dallas is if you look at the amount of IT jobs available at 10,000, it's not as good as Dallas or Houston. However, Austin, Texas is much smaller. So you look at the population of 1.25 metro area population of Austin, Texas. It's it's a very hot market right now for IT. A lot of Silicon Valley type uh, startups are, are being based out of out of Austin. The University of Texas is there, and that's a major university. And uh, overall, it's a very um, it's kind of a very it's a liberal city. Texas is mostly a conservative state where everything is. Uh, you know, it's more conservative, Republican-leaning, but uh, Austin is, is uh, definitely a, a more democratic, uh, liberal-type, California-type city. And then you have, um, you know, average home values are much higher in Austin compared to Dallas or Texas, uh, or I'm not Texas, but Dallas or Houston. So um, it, one of those things you might want to consider because, you know, your average programmer salary is 63, which is less than Dallas, and the home prices are almost twice as much. So that is definitely something you got to consider when when you're comparing the two cities. All right, next one is uh, Seattle, Washington, home of Microsoft, home of Amazon.com. 
And uh, a lot of IT uh, businesses are actually run out of this, the Seattle, Washington area. The average programmer salary is a, a bit high uh, at 72000 which is pretty good. Uh, with a median income of 52. So a lot of people are doing pretty well in Seattle area as well. Now, you can see the average home price is actually quite a bit high. It's uh, it's quite a bit higher than and not just in Texas, but uh, really in most of these other places on this list. I mean, 530000 is is ridiculous for a home price, but uh, it is what it is. Um, with a 3.7 million metropolitan uh, population, 18,000 jobs, Seattle probably shouldn't be mentioned ahead of Austin or even Dallas at this point, but um, you know this is definitely a top ten city for IT jobs and and what in, uh, in the United States. Our right, next one on this list is Raleigh, North Carolina. This is arguably one of the top cities, maybe even top three, um, and. Yeah, so it should probably be top three. Now, on this particular list, I mean, there's not like a real real definitive order on the top ten. I just kind of figured out like, okay, what what type of city should be mentioned in the top ten? And then I didn't give them too much, I guess, wiggle room to try to figure out where they should sit exactly. But Raleigh, North Carolina can, and can arguably be number one uh, just based on the simple fact there's only 1.4 million people in the entire metro area. Uh, there's this area called Research Triangle Park where – uh, there is just a ton of, of IT companies that are based out of there from like uh, Red Hat to like IBM. And um, there's just there, for that type of population, there are so many jobs. There's three major universities from uh, Duke University, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and then NC State. And they're all in a very sh uh, close proximity to each other. So Raleigh is becoming a very hot market for, for IT jobs. Uh, median income of 62, so a lot of people are doing really well, um, and programmers aren't doing that much better than than the other. You know, obviously the, the everybody else that gets lumped into the to the actual uh, income pool there with 64,000 as the average programmer salary. I put the growth potential is very high, possibly one of the highest in the United States, and then the average home price 198,000, which is really affordable. So, if you were looking for affordability. Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, and you could probably also mention Charlotte, North Carolina, which I don't have on this list. They're very, very uh, hot markets for IT and just in business uh, in general. Raleigh more in um, more in IT, and then uh, and, and then you could make like an argument, I, like I said, for uh, Charlotte, North Carolina as being a, a very business friendly IT hub. All right, next on this city is uh, New or city list list is New York City, and um, if you look at the IT jobs available, nearly fifty one thousand, median income of fifty thousand. You you obviously have you know people like if you're living in Manhattan, you're no nothing less than a millionaire. Um, so this is a downtown view of Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Uh, New York City is absolutely humongous. Um, Twenty million metro population, average home value of six hundred and ten thousand. Uh, you're not going to find a condo for less than a million in Manhattan. Um, the growth potential I put is average, just because you know there are a ton of jobs. In fact, I like I get recruiters and stuff on Indeed.com. A lot of them are based out of the New York City area, and um, it, and it, there's just it, it, there's constant growth in, in New York City. There's just so much that's already there that you're going to have a pretty big attraction for. Uh, you know, wanting to be in New York City, it's one of the most uh, it's one of the most major cities, not just in the United States. It's the largest in the United States, but it's also one of the most prominent cities in the entire world. Uh, but you have an average programmer salary of ninety one thousand, with a median income of uh, fifty thousand, and just a, a ton of jobs there, but not very affordable. The traffic in and around trying to get into to New York City and out is just absolutely ridiculous. I was in uh, Manhattan uh, a couple months ago and. Uh, that place is just absolutely insane. I, I'm based out of uh, the Washington, D.C. metro area. And, um, yeah, New York City is just absolutely insane. So the next one on this list is Washington, D.C. If you look at Washington, D.C., it's a much smaller city than, than uh, New York City. You look at the metro population uh, of 9.5 million, it seems like a lot. The actual city of Washington, D.C. itself only has about 600,000 people in it. It's the capital of the United States. Um, the IT jobs, if you compare it to, to New York City, it has half the population, but almost as many IT jobs available, 40, almost you know, over 42,000, with a median income of 90,000. So your actual, there, there's so many high-paid people in and around the Washington area that they actually out, they, they outpace uh, programmer salaries, which this is the first one on this list that we've seen where the actual median income is exceeding the average programmer salary. So... 
the D.C. area is big time money. And the reason why is because of the uh, United States federal government. Some of the largest IT contractors in the world, uh, companies like Lockheed Martin, uh, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, Booz Allen Hamilton, a lot of these major IT contracting companies that come up with, you know, these, um, you know, these defense systems that uh, for technology spending, you know, companies that are based out of like Quantico and uh, Northern Virginia and all that stuff. So there is a there is a huge IT market in and around the D.C. area. You can see the average home price is 497. That's about in, uh, you know everything inside the Beltway. See, I know DC. I'm pretty intimate with. It. I've been around the DC area most of my life, and um, I can tell you that you know DC does have a ton of jobs. The traffic is miserable around here, and um, you can't you can't work too far outside of the city, unfortunately, because of uh, you know just the, the traffic is almost unmaintainable at this point. And then the top list, uh, uh, the, this one's kind of a boring list, to be honest with you. This is a boring uh, entry to be number one on the list. And like I said, there's not really a whole lot of consideration about which one should be put ahead of another one. These are all just, you know, really 10 hot cities in the United States for IT. Uh, but number one, and, you know, the last one on this list is San Francisco, California, just because it's been, you know, the IT hub in the United States for, what, decades now. So, Really, ever since the the birth of uh, of IT, um, San Francisco, as mentioned, with San Jose, you know, Google, Facebook, Apple, all based out of the San Francisco area. Average home price is completely unaffordable, as you can see, 1.18 million, uh, with a population a metro area of only 7.1 million compared to like DC or New York City. I don't know why people want to go to San Francisco. To be honest with you, um, you're going to be paying a million dollars for uh you know a condo and once again their, their traffic is miserable as well just like dc so it's very difficult to work out uh to work in the city and live outside of it so when it comes to like raising a family and stuff like that like san francisco probably has nothing on um a city like uh, raleigh north carolina or even dc for that matter but um the, if you're wanting to be in the it world uh I mean, you can't go wrong if you're in some sort of uh, startup in San Francisco. There's there's a lot of opportunity there. They they're they're the trendsetters in the market. Typically, you see a lot of the you know, the cutting edge technology coming out of that area, uh, and D.C. as well, just because of the amount of uh, military uh, spending that you see for technological advancements and like robotics and aerospace and things like that. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's my list. And um, once again, you can take it with a grain of salt. This is my opinion. I, I looked at a few different data points and just kind of put together what I thought was a, a good top 10 list. And um, people are going to disagree. Feel free to uh, insult and uh, and leave your comments. And if you do like this video, please subscribe. I, pr I appreciate all the support. Uh, my channel's grown quite quite well uh, over the past like year or so, and I, I've been surprised by that. So I appreciate anybody who watches this video. It's a, it's a nice thing to see, but it is just my opinion, and it's probably wrong. So anyway, guys, thank you. Have a good day, and take care. Bye.